So in New Zealand, we do have a sort of number eight wire history. And so these backcountry huts that people have essentially had to tramp to and carry building materials, they are quite quirky and they are just what's been able to be used. Like looking to those as references was was kind of the starting point of some of our design discussions. The site is located in Abel Tasman National Park, which is at the top of the South Island of New Zealand. The site itself is accessed only by boat or walking track through the National Park, a cluster of one of four privately held properties surrounded by native bush overlooking a bay. So the remote nature of this site means that you're really sharing it with the native birds. It's pretty spectacular and so you know we have a lot of windows like looking out into the space. Yeah you really are up in the treetops kind of with them. This is kind of nestled amongst existing trees and we really tried to limit cutting as much as we could down and things and the clients are actually regenerating the site. And so in this design process, we kind of looked at what was needed and just pairing back to exactly kind of the bare minimum of what we were able to get away with. So when you arrive to the site, you arrive at the bottom of the cabin and you actually come up a winding sort of path and stair through the native bush and you arrive at the back of the cabin. To your right is an outdoor shower, which is perched over some limestone in the middle of the bush. Going into the main space, you come into your living sort of kitchen space and it's kind of warm tones and you head further into the bedroom, which is a darker kind of character, again looking out to the shower. Carry on back through the living and you get to a covered outdoor deck area and go further into the bush and there's a toilet, sort of sunken in a bit of a concrete bunker. Perched over the cabin is a elevated sort of roof deck and so you access that by a stair from the back of the cabin and you get a view out to the bay, which is pretty magical. The cabin is a deceptively simple structure. At only 37 square metres, every detail was considered and every moment or every connection touched something else. So every decision we made impacted the next thing. Simply how the roof roof is, you know, flat roof in the bedroom, because that allows for the, the roof terrace above, the courting rain screen cladding, which extends up as a single blade to be the balustrade. All of these simple moves, but with a lot of detailing and engineering that you can't see. The outdoor shower is accessed across a steel walkway and the shower sits elevated above the ground, sort of wrapped in a steel cloak, sort of reminiscent of water tanks that are, you see throughout the National Park. The screen being high enough for privacy but low enough for you to be in the shower, sort of immersed in the bush. A really enjoyable part of the project and the process was working closely with the clients on some sort of bespoke design. It was important for, to the clients that um, all the systems used in the cabin were largely manual. The external shutters, for example, are operated using a found winch in a second-hand shop, and that was used within a sort of custom pulley system to help operate the shutters. The exterior, we were always interested in the idea that the materials might patina with time, so that, that really added some depth to the project. So. The core 10 and the timber facade kind of fit that brief. We wanted to kind of move inside and be slightly softer. The walls are a bandsaw and macrocarpa, which I think when you enter the space, you're hit with the smell of it and it is incredible. And the joinery elements in the space are a dressed macrocarpa, so we sort of it's a subtle play, but the elements that you're going to touch and are more tactile are just that little bit more polished. I think my favourite part of the cabin is when you walk in and just being hit by that smell. It sort of takes us back to going with the clients to select the timbers from a timber mill and really going through the process of just getting the rough sawn finish and, you know, just knowing 
the process that's gone into every inch of the cabin. Um, my favourite part is probably sitting about here with a cup of tea in the bush. I think the thing I'm most proud about with this project is that it, it can look quite simple, but we know the detail that went in to make it look so simple. The idea that the cabin further disappears within the bush and the views get a little bit more dappled and a bit more restricted is what we hope for.